Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Natalie and today we're watching Seven. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Thank you so much for being here and welcome if you're new. Today we are diving on into something a little different than the kinds of content that we have been watching lately here on my channel. We're watching a movie called Seven, directed by David Fincher, starring Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. This is a movie that has been suggested quite a few times in comments and in messages. To be honest, I had never heard of this movie until creating this YouTube channel and seeing it get suggested quite a few times. I really knew nothing about it. I didn't even know who directed it or who was starring in it until looking it up to rent it. And uh, when I put this in a poll over on Patreon, some of the comments have made me nervous. <laughs> some people are concerned that I am not going to be okay after watching this one. I've heard some people have warned me that it's going to be a bit disturbing, Tyler included. He's really excited for me to watch this so he can talk about it with me. But he he made me really nervous <laughs> last night because, I don't know, I, I wasn't feeling too good. My stomach was kind of hurting last night and I was going to sit down and watch the movie. And he was like, you should, you should wait until your stomach feels better. And I was like, what? <laughs> so now I'm a little scared. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, uh, you know, I've seen some disturbing stuff here on my channel, and I was like, how bad is it going to be compared to the things I've seen? And he was like, it's not as sad as some of the stuff that you've seen, but it's probably more disturbing. And uh, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, I'm a little freaked out right now. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I really was going to go into this one with absolutely no expectations, and um <laughs> Some folks have warned me that I should probably brace myself. So wasn't expecting that. Don't know if I would have put it in the poll that I put it in on Patreon. Had I known that, I might have waited until I felt more ready. <laughs> oh, well. Either way, I'm excited, though, because uh, this is a movie that's been mentioned a lot. I've heard that it's really well made, and I have seen some of David Fincher's work, but not a ton of his work, to be honest. I've seen Fight Club, but... I'm excited to watch something else done by him. I'm also a massive fan of Brad Pitt. I mean, who isn't? That's like not a hot take. Duh, he's amazing. But I really do love watching him work. So I'm excited to see him in another movie. I've been putting this off for a couple days since I've known that I had to watch this ever since I found out it was going to be maybe a little disturbing. So I am a little nervous, but it should be a good time. Well, maybe not a good time. That's probably not a good way of phrasing it. It should be, um, sometimes when I say like something's going to be a good time, I don't even necessarily mean I'm going to have a good time. I just mean it'll be like an educational and interesting experience from like a cinematic or a film perspective. And in that way, it'll be a good time. Like I, I had a horrible time watching Alien the very first time I watched it. I, I was messed up for days. I had nightmares. I did not have fun watching Alien, but it was such a good movie that I loved it and I would rewatch it like, so in that way, I mean, I'm hoping it'll be a good time. <laughs> Even if I messed up, I'm hoping I enjoy the filmmaking aspect of it all. And yeah, I don't really have too much to say. I think with all that being said, I should just rip the Band-Aid off and get on into this one. So if you guys are ready, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get into the movie. Oh, hey, Brad. Detective Somerset, I'm Detective Mills. Oh, he's a detective too. Why here? Oh, he chose to be transferred here? It's the first question that popped into my head. Yeah, of course. He asks questions. He's a question man. This man has a metronome. Does he actually like that? I mean, such an interesting choice for a character. To me, that sound stresses me out a little bit. Like, when I hear the sound of a ticking clock, like, in our bedroom, we have a ticking clock. When I'm, like, aware of it, it freaks me out sometimes. <laughs> Most of the time, I don't hear it, like, at night. But sometimes you hear it, and it kind of unsettles me. Ew, is that person shaving their skin with a razor? <laughs> I wonder if they were like peeling off their fingerprints. That would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Man, I'm never able to sleep like that. Like, I need my space when I sleep. I'm not very big on the cuddling when I'm sleeping. I just get too hot. Uh, the color tone is so gritty and cold. The lighting is really cool. So much shadow, but like per the perfect amount of shadow. Ah, he's sitting in the rain, holding coffee. Coffee? Huh? He doesn't drink coffee? All right, thank okay, you, officer. Is he, he doesn't drink coffee either? 
None, none, none of them drink coffee. <laughs> Except for the cop there. Ugh, the roaches. I'm already grossed out. This isn't a good sign. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's big. Oh. Oh, the lighting is so disturbing and just moody and I can't see anything. It's so terrifying. The way we've been revealing everything is so unsettling already. Whoops. Barbed wire, feet are tied, hands are tied. That's great. Okay, so it was a murder. I really do wonder why Brad Pitt's character was transferred here. Or why he requested to be transferred here. He's got lines of distension across the duodenum. And the interior wall is ripped open. Uh. This man ate till he burst. He didn't really burst. Not all the way. He was hemorrhaging internally. Was he forced to eat? Is that how he died? Somebody murder him by like forcing him to eat? Coroner said this could have gone on for more than 12 hours. It's a torture. Fun. I'd like to be reassigned. This can't be my last duty. It's just gonna go on and on and on. You're retiring. Oh. Uh... And if I may speak freely, we're all friends here. This should not be his first assignment. Oh, come on. Cause he can tell it what, it's a serial killer. I'm sorry, old buddy, but it looks like you're stuck cleaning up the fat man. Probably doesn't want to do it cause he knows it's gonna be like a lengthy case and he, he just wants to retire, dang it. But he probably doesn't like leaving unfinished business. And maybe there's a part of him that's even trying to protect Mills cause of how young he is. Maybe he knows this will like change him forever, but I don't know, he might not be invested in all that. We're going to go live downtown with defense attorney Eli Gould was found murdered this morning. Oh, this is the, is this the case? This room, is this where he was murdered? <laughs> He's standing in the crime scene, bro. It says greed and blood. Well, whoever did it is um, very talented artistically. Oh, and they covered her face. Oh, uh, coroner sent this down for you. Found him in fat boy's stomach. They were, uh, they were fed to him. He just dropped that bomb as he left knowing that that would hook him. And it was funny because the typewriter dinged at that exact moment too. So clever. Is he going back into the crime scene? Uh-oh, what's on the floor? I'm so nervous. The music, too, is so creepy. Claw marks? Are they the plastic? From the fridge? What does it say? Long is the way and hard that... That what? Something to the light. Long is the way and hard that out of hell leads up to light. It's from Milton. Paradise Lost. All right. I'm confused. Me too. It means that this is beginning. Ah, uh, of a serial killer. This was found behind the same <gasps> refrigerator. Seven! Seven deadly sins! Gluttony, greed! <gasps> I got it before he said it, but uh, to be fair, it was pretty obvious. Wow! So we got five more. Sloth, wrath, pride, lust, and envy. Ah, that's what seven means. Interesting. So we gotta pick, like, he might murder a prostitute or something for lust. Somerset! He wanted it. I'm all over it. <laughs> so they're gonna work together now? I knew they would. It'd be weird if they didn't. Is that another murder? What's happening? Where are you headed? Far away from here. Oh, far, oh. Oh, right, his plan is retiring right now, right? Man, yeah, this is a pretty sheep city, man. This, there's a lot of murder in this city. Are we in New York or are we somewhere else or is it just like a ambiguous city? Slaw, I'm just trying to think of like the kinds of people he would murder for these other sins now. He or she, sorry. Serial killer could be any gender. Let's not discriminate, but it's probably a man. <laughs> oh, sorry. Be out of your way in a second. Oh, he's taking his office. That's funny. It's like the transition. So this whole movie is like them kind of working together, but also them transitioning and switching. Hey, Barry, I'm, uh, I told you not to call me. Why? It's my wife. She wants to talk to him? She'd like to speak to you. Oh? What the heck? <laughs> I, I appreciate the offer. But... Oh, was she inviting him over for dinner or something? Well, in that case, I'd be delighted. Oh. Come on, what? Ah, she hung up. <laughs> she hung up on him. That's funny. Very happy to meet you. I've heard a lot about you. Oh. <laughs> this is cute. Oh, they have kids? Oh, dogs. dogs. They have dogs. Why aren't you married, William? Oh, um, I mean, it's probably a lot of reasons. Anyone who spends a significant amount of time with me finds me disagreeable. <laughs> Just ask your husband. Uh, oh, God. Very true. That's so rude. 
How are you liking it? You know. She doesn't. <laughs> she doesn't. Why did they leave their last place? Subway. Oh, they live that close to the subway? Shows us the place a few times. I think he's good. He's efficient. Trace really likes it. Then I start wondering why will he only bring us here for five minutes at a time, yeah? <gasps> Every six minutes? It's that often? That's a lot. Well, I, I guess it definitely doesn't happen every six minutes because <laughs> he's been here longer than that and it, this is the first time it's happened. Oh, that's funny though. Oh, look, they're bonding <laughs> over their shitty apartment. His wife did a good thing inviting him over for dinner. <laughs> oh, they're letting her look at everything. Oh, but they covered up like the most gruesome stuff, post-its. Didn't she hear about all this already? Or is she just crying again? Cause she hasn't seen the photos maybe. Wait, this painting. It's upside down. Good job, girl. Stop In the painting? Do you gotta tear open the paper? This guy really likes leaving clues, huh? Ah, he's with this. That's what he's doing. Yeah. Just wait a minute. <laughs> Mills needs to learn patience. Fingerprints? Why would he flip the painting like that, though? So weird. Help me. Just by looking at the scroll pattern, not the victim's fingerprints. He made a message out of fingerprints that says, help me. That is so creepy. Wow. We're collecting all the evidence, taking all the pictures and samples, writing everything down, noting the time things happen. That's all. That's all. Oh, he doesn't have faith that they'll catch the guy. It's like the jaded old guy who's been on the job so long and wants to be done with it versus like the new hopeful guy who still has something to prove. <laughs> oh, look at them. That's cute. This guy goes by the name of Victor. His prints were found at the scene by homicide. He's got a long history of serious mental illness. How lucky you guys got a match. His lawyer, by the way, has recently deceased Eli Gould. Oh, that was his lawyer. He's not buying all this story. Doesn't seem like our guy, does it? Yeah, it is very convenient. I wonder if he framed him. Interesting. Now he's framing somebody. Watch him be dead. Like, watch this guy be dead. How crazy would that be? Get up now, mother No! He's dead, probably, you idiot. Oh my god. What is with all the air fresheners, the car fresheners in this room? What a choice. <coughs> He's really, 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 really dead. He's really dead. Oh god. Was he poisoned? What's going on? Sloth. Interesting. God damn. <laughs> This picture was dated three days ago. Three days ago, this killer's so ahead of him. That's what he used to look like. He was poisoned and starved over. It's dated exactly one year ago today. One year ago? A year? He's laughing at us. Did it... what you deserved. <laughs> <laughs> Holy f he's alive. Wow, that's so crazy after that doctor whispered to him, you got what you deserved. It's also so interesting that like, he's the one to survive, this criminal, you know? We have to remain focused on hey, the man, details, I see okay? Blind motions. How's that? Excuse me. Hey, what are you doing? I got a right to be here. Get out, out of here. Get out of here. Hey, I got you a picture. Oh, yeah? Detective Mill. <laughs> you pissed me off. Okay. It's impressive to see a man feeding off his emotions. <laughs> what a funny dig. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe this guy's alive. A year of immobility seems about right, judging by the deterioration. A year of immobility. He's been held hostage and tortured for a year. It's Tracy. Hi, Tracy. I need someone to talk to. Do you think you could meet me? She can't talk to her husband? Why can't she talk to her husband? Does he ignore her? I feel bad for her, but like... This seems really inappropriate. I mean, upstate, you know, it's a completely different. Oh, we, we're definitely down in New York City and they came from upstate. Yeah, it is completely different. Did David tell you that I teach fifth grade? Oh, she gave up her whole life for him. She was a teacher too. David and I are gonna have a baby. Holy <laughs> Does he know? Does David know? I don't think I'm the... <laughs> I'm the one to talk to about this. I hate this city. Oh, she doesn't want to raise her kid here. I had a relationship once. It was very much like a marriage. We got pregnant. Oh, shit. I remember thinking, how can a person grow up with all this around them? I told her I didn't want to have it. Oh. And over the next few weeks, I wore her down. Oh. 
But if you choose to have this baby, you spoil that kid every chance you get. Thank you. Aww. She's like the one beacon of like hope and humanity in this movie. <laughs> you know? I'm sick of all this waiting. This is the job. Uh, I really enjoy the juxtaposition of these two characters together. He's a nutbag. And just because of the f got a library card doesn't make him Yoda. He's got a library card. Does he go to his library? Or no, what? What? Oh, the field trip. A field trip to the library? It's a deal. All right. Better now. Well, that was money well spent. It probably was, actually. I love how sarcastic and annoyed Brad Pitt's character is right now. He's so, like, angsty and impatient. If you want to know who's reading Purgatory and Paradise Lost and Helter Skelter, the FBI's computers will tell us. Why are we here, though? Oh, we're meeting this guy here? Oh. Oh, the records. He's getting the records. Interesting. Let's try it. Jonathan Doe? Whatever. Jonathan Doe? That's his name? Oh, uh, he got a fake identity, didn't he? Because uh, there's no one named John Doe. Watch them open the door and it be another person who's been killed for one of the sins. I just feel like this guy is so smart. He's been like 10 steps ahead of them this whole time. Name off a computer. It's that guy. <laughs> what bad timing. Mills, don't get killed. Oh God, guys, don't get hurt. The way Mills is running around, it's really freaking me out. Like, I'm like worried he's moving too fast. Oh, don't shoot the wrong person. Don't get hurt. Oh, I'm stressed. Oh, he went through there. He escaped. He escaped. Mills, is he okay? No, he's hurt. No, maybe not. I'm stressed, man. I'm stressed. Oh, there he- Oh, he did get hit. He got shot. I'm just so nervous that we're gonna like shoot the wrong guy or something here. Oh, there he is. Is that him? Man, Mills has really done a good job of staying with him and not losing him completely. Oh God, they're causing car accidents. Oh, and he's lost Mills. Oh my God, I'm stressed. Oh my God. Oh, he is hit. He was hit. I'm worried about him, man. What if he dies? He can't die, right? He's on the poster. At least, Mills. No! Oh my god, Morgan, where are you, Morgan? He didn't shoot him. Holy f Wonder why. I didn't think we were gonna find the guy's place so soon. More spaghetti sauce. The hand? Is that the hand? Ugh, the f He's keeping of his victims, huh? Wild Bill's leather shop, Jonathan Doe, custom leather. Who's that a photo of? God, it's so scary in here. Single bed with a cross over it. Oh, God. We really can't be turning the lights on in any of these houses, huh? Oh, he has a photography dark room. We well, had him. You had him. What are you talking about? It's a tongue in front of the stairs. Holy. <laughs> it was the photographer. Who's the blonde? Looks like a pro. Yeah. Lust. I knew it. I knew it! Of course, we have to have it be like a club. It's more disorienting that way and mysterious. Lust, yep. Oh God, get this thing off of me. What's on him? We'll get what off of him? He asked me if I was married. <laughs> and I, I could see he had a gun in his hand. This guy's a wreck. He made me do it. He, he, he put that thing on me. What on, what did he put and, on? And, and, and he made me wear it. Oh, a knife. He made somebody else kill her like that. Please help me. Please help me. I don't know who can help you, buddy. I think you're gonna be f***ed up the rest of your life. That is some f***ed up shit. I don't know how you survive that. I don't know how you like live with yourself after that, honestly. Even if, I, I don't blame him. It's just, I don't know how you live after that. I'm gonna go home. Wow, I feel like you haven't done that in days. Well, actually it's probably only been a day. I forget what day it is of the week. Oh my god! There's also seven days of the week and we've been going through each day with a new murder and stuff. That's crazy! Man, this movie is so smart! I love you, honey. Why is there spooky music? I don't like the creepy music. I'm so freaked out! And the metronome. You really like sleeping with a metronome, man? That is psycho. I'm sorry. That is disturbing. That is not like a white noise machine to me. 
Oh, was he turning it off? Uh, yeah. I'm surprised you slept with it ever. Sunday, the last day of the week. Can you repeat that? I've oh. gone and done it again. Is it the guy he's calling 911 on, on himself? Interesting. That's the first time he's done that. Pride. Oh, she had a photo of herself up there, huh? Yeah, uh, sleeping pills. Glued to one hand, telephone glued to the other. Sliced her up and he bandaged Call for help and you'll live, but you'll be disfigured. Or you can put yourself out of your own misery. So she chose death? She chose death because she cared so much about how she looked. She was so vain. That is so crazy. I'm surprised he's progressed so fast in just seven days. He's killed so many people. Is this him? No, who is it? Detective. Is it him? Detective! You're looking for me. How did he sneak in here covered in blood? How did he just walk in? I'd like to speak to my lawyer, please. You just turned yourself in? No one saw that coming. That is crazy. He cuts the skin off the tips of his fingers. I was right. The intro where I saw him slicing skin. I was like, I wonder if he cuts his fingerprints off. I was right. He's not finished. He's not. He hasn't killed Envy. He's two murders away from complete. Oh, two murders. What's the other one? Envy, Wrath. My client says there are two more bodies. He will take detectives Mills and Somerset to these bodies, but only detectives Mills and Somerset. Only them. Oh, come on. That's just, that's so scary. That's scary. I don't like that. Why can't we have anybody else there? My client also wishes to inform you that if you do not accept, he will plead insanity across the board. Come on now, Martin. We all know with the extreme nature of these crimes, I could get him off with such- Get him off? Com Even for insanity, you can't get off for these murders. He'd be held away in a mental institution. I mean- The press would have a field day if they were to find out the police didn't seem too concerned about finding them. If in fact there are two more dead. Right. I'm a little bit nervous that he's trying to bait and kill them. I don't know. You'd be escorting an unarmed man. Still be pretty terrifying though. Can you guys, is, can you track them? Can you put like trackers on Morgan and Brad here? I keep coming home late, my wife's gonna think something's up. You know, yeah. He's gonna open up to him? Looks like he's crying. Oh, what? He, he didn't do it? Him and his wife need like therapy. They just need like a retreat. They need to move back upstate and they need to just live a happy life together. God. I was surprised when we like found out who the killer was so early, but now I'm seeing it's because we have all this sh scary thriller sh to go through. I was w thinking it was happening too fast because I knew the movie was around two hours long. Now I understand. Oh yeah, they have their guns. What if he gets a hold of one of their guns? I'm scared. <laughs> you can't see the whole complete act yet, but when this is done, people will barely be able to comprehend, but they won't be able to deny. Fun! You be sure and let me know, because I wouldn't want to miss it. Oh, don't worry. You won't. Ugh! I hate this. I hate it. Oh, no. I feel like he's going to try to kill them or something. I, I, I don't know how, but are we going upstate? Where are we going? I've been driving for so long. Only in a world this sh Could you even try to say these were innocent people and keep a straight face? But that's the point. We see a deadly sin on every street corner in every home, and we tolerate it. We tolerate it because it's common. It's, it's trivial. Wow, this is what Somerset's whole journey has been through the movie, of just being frustrated with the apathy and not wanting to live in this city anymore. I don't mourn them any more than I do the thousands that died at Sodom and Gomorrah. Is that to say, John, that what you were doing was God's good work? The Lord works in mysterious ways. Ugh. God, this scene has been so long. I feel like this is the longest scene in the whole movie. There's a trailer out here. I'm just so nervous. Uh, I mean, it w would these two detectives re represent Wrath and Envy? Like, I feel like Mills could be Wrath because he does get angry a lot. Somerset could be Envy because he wants to be somewhere else and he wishes he hadn't, he envies maybe the fact that like Mills could still have kids. I don't know, I don't know. Maybe not, maybe there really are two people dead out here. I just am doubtful of it. It's this way. Oh God, this thriller is wrecking me right now. Who's the van? Watch him. There he goes. It's good we have some time to talk. Uh oh, what's he doing? 
This music. Step away. Uh, I'm in a package, man. I got this package for this guy, David. Uh, Detective. Oh no. David Mills. Oh no. No. Uh oh. Yeah, it's you two. You two are the last bodies. Uh huh. Somerset and Mills. I knew it. Ah, uh, it's pretty obvious though. I am stressfully picking the cuticles at my hands apart. Oh, is it a bomb? I'm terrified. So many factors going on. Don't touch the box, Morgan. You're not a bomb guy. Don't touch it. He's gonna touch it. I'm gonna open it. No! Somerset. Why would he open it? Why would you open it? Why? There's blood. There's blood. What's in it? Oh my God, I'm so scared. What's in it? What's in it? Oh my God, I'm so scared. <coughs> what is it? What is it? Is it a head? It's not his wife or something, is it? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. What is it, what is it, what is it? Oh, you can't tell him what it is. You can't tell him what it is right now. I wish I could have lived like Shut you did. Shut up. He wants to get Mills to kill him, doesn't he? I'm trying to tell you how much I admire you and your pretty wife. He killed his wife, he killed his wife, he killed his wife, he killed his wife. I visited your home this morning. I took a souvenir, her pretty head. Put the gun I down. saw you with the box. What was in the box? Because I envy your normal life. Put the gun down, baby. He envies his life. Oh, he wants to be killed. He wants to be killed for envy. And he's wrath. She begged for her life, detective. Shut up! And for the life of the baby inside of her. Shut up! Oh, God, he doesn't know about the baby. David. He didn't know. I don't want him to kill him. Don't do it! David. Oh, no. <laughs> Bruh! No! If you kill him, he will win. Yeah, he wins. Don't do it. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. I'm starting to see what you guys meant about disturbing. <laughs> Ernest Hemingway once wrote, <sighs> The world is a fine place and worth fighting for. I agree with the second part. Damn, man. Okay, my hair is looking a little crazy. <laughs> uh, I'm feeling a little messy and messed up. Um, I see <laughs> what people were getting at. And they said this was a disturbing movie. It wasn't disturbing for all the reasons I thought it would be. Um, it was actually more sad in the end than what I expected. It was so well done though, from start to finish. I mean, the lighting was just perfect. The themes that we explored of like apathy and fighting to make the world a better place and these seven sins and, you know, going along with the seven days of the week with each sin was also a really interesting choice. I really liked a lot of the writing choices for this movie. I really enjoyed the juxtaposition of Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt's characters, this old guy who's on the verge of retiring and is jaded and has lost hope in the city that he lives in and in the world that he lives in and all the horrible things that he sees on a daily basis compared to this new guy who just got transferred, who has a wife who's pregnant and is just at the beginning of his career and doesn't think that the world is as f***ed up as it is and isn't jaded and has a lot to prove. I mean, it's just these two things side by side and then paralleled with the whole killer's experience and what he's trying to prove just led for a really interesting story. <laughs> I thought it was interesting when it was Kevin Spacey who was the killer, because uh, spoilers if you haven't seen The Usual Suspects, but uh, <laughs> if you haven't at this point, I feel like it's okay to spoil it. That's one movie I actually have seen. So uh, I just think it's funny <laughs> seeing him again. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it's Kevin Spacey again as the criminal. He does so well in those roles. I wonder why. This is definitely one of those movies that I'm gonna think about for a while, just from like a, a filmmaking perspective even, um, storytelling perspective, it, it was just really interesting and really well done. There's a lot of little nuances that I picked up on while watching it, but I'm sure I missed so many more. And it's sad too that the one person who I was like is a beacon of hope and life and all things innocent it, it died in the end. I'm happy we didn't see her head. I'm real happy that it was, you know, Morgan Freeman's character who opened the box <laughs> and not the other way around, but damn. Oh, it's also so f***ed up too because there were all these days like leading up to this guy's capture where Mills hadn't had the chance to go home and he kept kind of mentioning that every once in a, in a while. Like, oh, I should go home. I haven't seen my wife in days. Like, if only he had just gone home, he would have known. So sad. 
David Fincher did a really good job with this one. <laughs> as messed up as it is, I'm, I'm really glad that I watched this with you guys. And uh, I'm happy that I've seen it now. It was a really well-made movie. And one that I really hadn't heard of before um, starting this YouTube channel, surprisingly. This is one that uh, hadn't been mentioned as often to me. So I'm glad that I've seen it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up because it really helps me out and it lets me know that you guys want to see more content like this. <laughs> of course, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and anything else you might like me to watch next and subscribe if you want to. Till the next one, stay golden. Bye.